Well, hello, everyone. Today, we have Sayyid Abdul Basit amongst us, who is a van hacker who got the job and right now currently located in Halifax. So we are very excited to know about his journey and how that journey is going to inspire you all to not give up. Hello, Basit. How are you? Uh, hello. Yes, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So tell us about yourself from where you are and where are you currently right now located? Okay, so from I'm I'm from Islamabad, Pakistan, mm -hmm. and in Pakistan I work around seven eight year experience in mobile development, mobile uh -huh. education development, and right now I'm working in Halifax with a company, and I just I'm a van hacker, so I just got job offer through van hack, and then the whole transition worked out, and now I'm in, in Canada. Awesome, that that's wonderful. So, uh, so why did you decide you were in Islamabad? So what made you decide that you want to go abroad and do the job somewhere outside Pakistan? Basically, I worked around seven to eight years in Pakistan and I thought that now it's time to move on to take more experience and work uh, in an atmosphere where, uh, where a lot of more technical, I work with a lot more technical people. So I was just, my main target was either to go uh, job offer or job in either in Germany or in Canada. So this motivated me and then I just created my account in VanHack. Okay, so how did your story with VanHack start? How did you get to know about this? Basically, a, one of my friends told me that there, there, is a, uh, there, there is a platform VanHack and I just saw some videos, watched some videos on YouTube, a success story. And in 2020, yeah, in the start of 2020, I created my account in VanHack and I applied for multiple jobs, but uh, due to COVID, most of jobs are uh, are after some time after a week or two they, they just put them on hold so i just created my account and then i just forget I mean, even i just received some emails that yeah this is the one of job which matches your skill i just went through it and then if it may it matches my skill i applied so of after in 2022 yes it's january 2022 uh, to be exact it was 17 january 2022 mm -hmm. and i received an email that uh, that one of the recruiter approached me that we just want to discuss your profile and oh, after oh yes. Uh, yes after this because uh, from november 2021 till feb 2022 i mean in each week i had uh, at least two interviews i mean my one my main focus was uh -huh. uh, in Germany or Netherlands, because getting job from Canada is was a near to impossible. I mean, I applied through LinkedIn, but at the end, I realized that no. It's so you were using easy. LinkedIn too, and yeah. you were using Manhack too. But in two years, yeah. when you made an account, and after the two years, you got the job offer, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's amazing. Yes. Yes. That that really, and and you were watching success stories and who knew that today your success story is being recorded and soon other people will be watching it. How does that feel? Yeah, basically it's it's. I mean, when I I used when heck, I mean, I know that when heck can work because I I I watch a lot of people, but due to COVID, I mean, due to COVID there were less jobs, but I was trying my best in when heck because I didn't give up that. Oh, okay, when heck didn't work because. I, I I know a lot of people that just create a file on VanHack and just apply for two, three jobs and then they just they just give up or okay, it doesn't work, yes. leave it. So I was applying. I know because I a lot of people from India, a lot of people from Pakistan who got job from VanHack, especially their LinkedIn page, they put their uh, pictures on their LinkedIn page. Oh, so this is Yes. So in 2022, uh, I mean, I had a lot of interviews, but out of out of nowhere, the, that interview come and I, I applied for this job a year ago. I mean, in 2021, January or February, because when I received that email, uh, when I just checked that job, so it was written that I applied for this job uh, one year ago. Awesome. So um, how many how many yes. positions did you apply for before you get you got hired? Uh, the total job which I applied was um, 36. But, 36 yes, that, that's 36. a wonderful count the, because you did not give up after like applying for one yeah. or two job and you were like oh, you're not hitting back that's yeah a good count. because yeah basically but the load of jobs uh, in which apply are after some time they just put it on a halt because of the covid situation yes 
and the whole, then, whole world was going through this uh covid debacle and we were all witnessing it but i'm glad even that did not stop you from applying and working on it so um did you get a call from an interview advisor from vanhack to help you for your interview yes i i, I got twice and when when i this this first interview was scheduled it was around 25 january 2022 so i got a call and i that you can schedule uh, this mock interview how was this yeah that that was very helpful i mean there are a lot of things even though because even when i was applying for germany or netherland uh, most of the time i stuck in the first uh, call which was introductory call and there was a lot of steps which i was doing wrong that how what, how you need to your face expressions your answers your enthusiasm so i that that was really good i mean i i i got a lot of points from that interview and that interview really helped me in my this first initial interview uh, with the current company which for, for which i'm right now working so you not only got the all the help from connecting the job offers to the interview help you you were you know getting all the dots connected through vanhack right yeah that's exactly. amazing to know so yeah. how was the feeling when you received the job offer i mean if uh, after uh, man there was a coding challenge and there was another interview and before the final panel interview there was an another mock technical interview i mean in which uh, the van hack recruiter telling me that what you can expect it and what are the uh, i mean just connect a dot that yes yes these are the steps uh, these are the questions which you need to focus on and after this it was on 19th feb almost a year ago 19th feb remember the date it must be this exciting yes it was 3 a 307 i mean am it was a night in pakistan uh, i was i mean it's the midnight it's around 3 o'clock i went just i open my mobile and there was an email i was just open i mean you could i can not express that feeling that i can not express that feeling. yes And yeah, just, I come across uh, a lot of success cases stories of lots of people, and they describe it the same way you describe. They some even got emotional that they, that moment was unbelievable, and I I know that that that's wonderful to know as a yeah. part of a community that's helping you. Yeah, basically, I was expecting because I was expecting because that interview went very well. Mm-hmm. so when i just open my mobile there was a job offer when i opened that email and when i read the email uh, i mean uh, for i, I applied more than 100 jobs and this was my first ever uh, job offer from international so it's really exciting and 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 i thanks my god and after that I mean my sleep was gone my sleep was gone i was unable to sleep mm-hmm. because it was 3 am in the midnight and then i just woke up and we could not express that feeling in in the words i mean i was very joyful you and the first open up all your family that wake up yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. and the only word which came up out of my mouth was when hack works because i i believe in when hack but my but yes i mean i believe that it can work because obviously when you are applying you are not getting you get a little bit demotivated okay or maybe but the main thing is you need to keep applying the main focus was i was keep applying and keep applying the jobs and when i just went through some interviews uh, just work on the skills and work on my weakness that why why i am not getting the second steps or the third steps but uh, but this is that what overall i i love your quote regarding this entire journey and entire experience that van hack works we you got this say abdul basit so uh, my question now is regarding your remote in your re- relocation so was canada part of your career dream now that you are here was it yeah that, that was a part because uh, beside this job offer uh, i mean my my plan my man planning is for pr but somehow due to covid situation i mean before covid i was uh, doing my masters in islamabad from bari university so uh, i was waiting for that degree so when i completed that degree i can just I, i can apply for pr but then covid happened and uh, each and everything you can know that the pr system was almost halted for two year due to covid so basically it, my main focus was canada but getting a job offer uh, 
everyone said without when heck getting a job for me that was impossible for me I mean because uh, there is they have some restriction on LMI and there are very less jobs yes. LMI jobs so I mean I mean I mean uh, without when heck are because I stop applying for a Canadian job even if I get through LinkedIn or any referral because I know because it doesn't work easily because when, if you are applying for 100 job and you are not getting any any response even for first interview so so I just stop awesome. it but that Canada was in my I mean it was my first list yeah, but when I saw that there is no job offer and if PR doesn't work then I focus on Germany or Netherlands jobs. But you're here. You you got the job offer. You you landed over here, and you're working over here now. So how was the my last question regarding is just the, how was the visa and relocation process? Yeah, basically I started remotely with them initially mm-hmm. for almost four months, and uh, Van Hack team was very cooperative in the whole process. I mean, they 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 have assigned me some people who just guide me. That these are the documents which you need, and this is the medical, and these are the whole process. And just uh, I I just completed all of them, and I mean from f- first step to last step, from uh, first step and to last step where I I submit my application. So and when Hack was with me, and they guided me that these are the steps you need to follow. And after that, um, around three and a half month in July twenty twenty two, yes, in July twenty twenty, I got my visa, and that's, on sixth August I landed. No, say that's that's really wonderful to know about your entire journey. And you know what 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 excites us the most and makes us happy that we had some contribution in this. And Van Hack had contribution in your journey. And uh, we are really happy to see you that you have relocated. You got the dream job, and you're over there. So, what one last thing you would like to? Uh, give a guideline to all the people, uh, the van hackers, because they usually give up. What tip would you give it to all of them? Basically, you need to work on your skill. I mean, if you if you are not getting an interview call, if you are not getting, you need you need to work on your skill. I mean, you need to update your CV. You need to update that English test on a van hack, and you 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 need to be motivated because because if I'm applying for hundred jobs. So it doesn't cost me anything. I mean, I can just apply the job if it's valid. I mean, I, I say a lot of people, they are applying every job. But if I'm applying, let's say if I'm I, iOS developer and I'm applying for a PHP developer jobs or are, are jobs which it does not does not, uh, does not not match my skills, then, then, then it wouldn't work. But you need to keep motivated yourself, apply the job. Because in when you apply a job, there would be only one job. There will be one job which can which can click and which could click. Mm-hmm. That was one that job which clicked. If if you demotivate, I mean you are losing your uh, uh, you are uh, you you are losing the way because if I'm not applying that, how can I can just achieve the job? If I was if if uh, if I didn't apply that job one year ago, uh, which which uh, which which I think I applied uh, on ago, I just read that email. Okay. So it's med skill or let apply this job. So you need to motivate it. You work, you need to work on your skills and that one job will hopefully land in your life. Awesome. Thank you so much, Saeed Abdul Basit. Your story really, really was amazing to know. And all the people listening to this story, just remember one thing, you got this because next time, like you are watching a success story right now, you might be the next success story. So keep believing in yourself. Until next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Abdul Basit.